Well, in Boise on Friday, Tanner Mangum finishing up his BYU career in the city where he grew up. Now, he always wanted to be a BYU Cougar, and he gave BYU fans a number of great moments during his career, but it wasn't the elite career that we thought that he would have when he came out of Eagle High School. After the game, I talked to Tanner about his thoughts now that his career at BYU has come to an end. Tanner, back in 2012, I sat in your weightlifting room at Eagle High School when you were a senior. All right, Cougar fans, here he is, the future a QB for BYU. Tanner Mangum, we're in the uh, weight room where you spent many hours here. Are you still going to sign with the Cougars February 1st? Yes, sir, February 1st, signing day. Um, I'm excited to become a Cougar. And during that interview six years ago, we were talking about you weren't going to be in Provo for a while because you served a mission and it's going to take a couple years before you get there. But when you got on the field, when you started out with a bang, the Hail Mary at Nebraska. Loads up, launches it, goes for the end zone. The ball's in the air, it drops at the goal line. I think he caught it for a touchdown. He got it! Touchdown, Nick Matthews! The Cougars win it! What a way to start, huh? It was. It was a, an interesting welcome to the college football world. Uh, having only been home for just a few months and kind of starting off my career like that was was exhilarating and uh, and uh, a lot of fun just to be able to fulfill that lifelong dream I had to play for BYU to put on the the Cougar blue and and to to do that was was special yeah. and it's um, you know it's there's been some lows too but 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 both the highs and the lows have taught me a lot about myself and, have, and I'm really grateful for both yeah, let, let's talk about that the highs you know a couple Hail Marys yeah Boise gets in he's got room to the right tucks throws anyway in the end zone it is caught it's caught for a touchdown the first few games of your freshman year and then uh you had to sit wait behind Taysom and then uh you you started this year as the starter then you, you were the backup I mean it was a rocky ride for you how are you able just to keep a positive thought through this whole thing I think uh, I, I credit a lot of it to my family uh, and, and my parents and, and siblings and how I was raised and, and then also coaches along the way who kind of helped mold my character and, and just taught me the importance of keeping a positive attitude and, and being a good person regardless of what situation you're in. And, uh, you know, d despite the, the setbacks and the adversity, I didn't want any of that to make me heart calloused or to harden me or to change who I was. Um, you know, I wanted to keep that same personality that I had through, you know, whether I was succeeding or whether I wasn't. Mm -hmm. And I think those are important lessons that I can carry with me. All I know is that I gave it my all. And throughout my time here at BYU, I put my, you know, gave it my, my whole heart and soul. And, and uh, you know, it wasn't perfect. And um, that's okay. That's life. But, uh, but I can say that I, that I gave it my all and, and I'm happy with that. Well, you gave Cougar fans a lot of great memories with some Hail Marys and some fantastic finishes and, and everything that you've gone through. Everybody says this, and I'll say it to your class act. Thank you. Thank you, Rod. Appreciate it.